नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी आई क्यू आई एम फ्रेंड राहुल साइगांवकर द एजेंडा ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज कनेक्टेड टू आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ए आई ए आई हैज बिकम अ बज वर्ड इज इंट इट एवरी ऑल्टरनेट डे यू गेट अ न्यू न्यूज कनेक्टेड टू आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस यू टॉक अबाउट चैट जी पी टी यू टॉक अबाउट बार्ड यू टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट कंपनीज इन्वेस्टिंग इन ए आई एंड कमिंग अप विथ न्यू ए आई बेस्ड एप्लीकेशन ऑफकोर्स ए आई हैज मेनी एडवांटेजेस इट ट्राइज टू मेक ह्यूमन लाइफ ईजियर it increases efficiency but along with its advantages it comes with its fair share of risks and concerns and i would say today's discussion is more about artificial intelligence and concerns or risks connected to it recently united kingdom had called world's first ai summit and at the summit 29 countries have come together to give bletchley declaration and today's interaction is connected to bletchley declaration itself we are going to understand what is this declaration what is the central objective of this declaration what is the importance of this and then we'll talk about some challenges that are going to lie ahead with respect to regulation of artificial intelligence that is going to be the complete agenda of this discussion to get to know all this information stay with me till the very end all right let's begin as i told you the news is quite simple 29 countries have come together it includes india it includes uk of course which was the host united states of america australia brazil european union saudi arab many countries have come together they have now formed a coalition where they have agreed that artificial intelligence especially the advanced artificial intelligence it has it has its benefits yes but it comes with potential risks as well and we need to regulate the development of advanced artificial intelligence that was the agenda as well at the ai summit that was i would say the outcome to the bletchley declaration the first uk ai summit it spoke about potentially dangerous artificial intelligence now you have a question sir i want to know more about this bletchley declaration first why bletchley why the term as you can see here ai safety summit uk ai safety summit hosted by the uk on 1st and 2nd november it was hosted at a place called as bletchley park Now this Bletchley Park has a very interesting history. It comes in Buckinghamshire, in near London, and this was the base for code breakers who were trying to break the German Enigma code during the Second World War. And as a symbolism for that development, UK chose. In fact, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. It is it is said that he chose this spot as a as a symbolic gesture for that code breaking. And the first AI safety summit. was held here which ultimately led to the bletchley declaration now what is the objective as you already know ai is already here to stay we have seen so many applications we have seen good kind of examples where i, I already told you it tries to it tries to add to human value or it tries to make our life easier it brings efficiency it brings effectiveness in in the work right so what we need is yes we want ai's full capabilities to be used along with it whatever risks that are associated with we associated with it we need to take care of that as well so what what was the main objective here of the bletchley declaration was need to address the risks and responsibilities associated with advanced artificial intelligence based models and new tools that are coming up in fact the bletchley declaration it acknowledged that yes ai is something which is which is really great of course ai has its many applications but it comes with its share of risk it ha it ha it has a potential of severe even catastrophic harm which can be caused to humans it may be intentional or it may be unintentional both all right in fact if we want to understand the bletchley declaration the best idea would be to listen to the address given by minister of state for meti rajiv chandrasekhar he said that what what we did was we allowed innovation because innovation is needed human nature has that creativity human nature has that innovative angle so we we allowed innovation and innovation happened in the realm of information and communications technology but this innovation it has gotten ahead gotten ahead now with with respect to internet with respect to artificial intelligence what is happening we see a lot of toxicity misinformation and weaponization of information and ai has the potential of doing it now we have discussed regarding ai before as well and i gave you one of the examples say say with respect to chat gpt people prompted or people asked question to chat gpt and the chat gpt also gave answers which had i would say human biases 
human biases connected to gender human biases connected to race as well that means is ai capable of the same problems or same issues which are connected with human and if that is happening then what is the use of the artificial intelligence which actually manifests or develops the errors that humans have and these are the potential risks and that is what has been acknowledged the minister said we certainly want ai and its broader benefits but what we want is a better accountability and better regulation to law itself of these ai based models and it is not just the summit ai safety summit has highlighted issues with respect to artificial intelligence but many people have for instance elon musk he is the he is the forebearer in fact in fact uh, i would say there is some some level of duplicity also here from on the part of elon musk on one side he invests in ai on the other side he also talks about ai being ai being a, a danger ai being a danger right he has created or he is working towards that x ai right there is a concept of open ai which is given as chat gpt so as a counter to it to regulate or to to put safeguards over ai there is a counter idea called as x ai as well so it's not just not just the ceos or people many people have highlighted this uh, some some people who are against this idea that ai can be dangerous they highlight that currently we have not reached to that level we have not reached that level where ai can harm us it, it's just uh, it's just a threat perception that we feel right now but again right now through this summit i can say it has been acknowledged and the bletchley declaration it has given a new concept of frontier ai now this frontier ai this is something which needs to be regulated frontier ai it is defined through the declaration as highly capable foundation generative ai models that can pose severe risks to public safety and what this declaration does is it gives a framework or it gives a platform for different countries to come together to give a plan for regulating the frontier artificial intelligence now till now you say sir everything is fine everything looks fine why because the the bletchley declaration or the understanding that has come out of ai safety summit is that people will now work together to to rein in or i would say to regulate the frontier artificial intelligence but is it easy what are the issues with this declaration the first and the biggest issue with this declaration is it acknowledges that there is a risk which i would say is a part and parcel of common sense as well it acknowledges that yes there is a danger but it is very light on details and it does not propose any sort of any sort of regulation as of now so what has happened is countries have come together they have said that okay ai has benefits ai also has dangers so we need to regulate it that's it so no proper plan for regulation has come as of now maybe it's the beginning now the declaration also reflects complexity of negotiations that we can anticipate going forward there are parties who are developed countries who are i would say who are more advanced even in artificial intelligence based capabilities there is there is us there is uk there are developed countries and there are developing countries in mid so what is going to happen now is are those negotiations can be expected for regulation here as well now we have a template of world trade organization although i am not comparing bletchley declaration with some sort of organization or leading to some sort of organization but what kind of negotiations have we seen at the wto level there is seldom any sort of consensus on any issue so we might expect a similar kind of development going forward when there are negotiations with respect to ai regulation apart from that there is also a big threat right now at the international level for global dominance when it comes to artificial intelligence and this is a domain which is open for grabs and every country is looking to gain that dominance specifically i can say there are two countries usa and china who are now involved in a technological technological race as well or a race for technological dominance i would say and that is going to be a big challenge in implementation of the declaration itself so what we can say is this declaration it acknowledges that there is a threat it is a first step or first logical step towards developing an international international rule based system for artificial intelligence especially frontier artificial intelligence and whatever help we can get that is needed and you already know there are many institutions who are working towards this for instance unesco 
UNESCO is also going to convene an experts round table specially connected to risks of uh, generative AI specifically in the domain of education. UNESCO has earlier as well developed ethics guidelines for artificial intelligence. This can become a template for future negotiations for other countries. In fact, we'll be keeping an eye on this UNESCO uh, UNESCO conference on artificial intelligence and what would be the outcome out of it. So these can become a template for future negotiations. So it's a good start. Countries have finally acknowledged that AI has its benefits. AI has its risks. Many people say that because of AI, there would be job loss. So how can we how can we counter that or how can we reduce the impact of these job losses? That is one of the questions. How AI is going to impact education? What are other ethical concerns connected to AI? So it's a, it's a beginning template, the Bletchley Declaration, we can say. And as and when there is development over this, we will discuss on study IQ for sure. But I hope from MCQ perspective, you do focus on why the name Bletchley was given because of the Bletchley Park. And now there is a direction, I would say there is a direction which is given at the global level that in future, AI regulation will come and that is going to have some impact on companies that have invested in artificial intelligence and AI based models. Whenever there is some news about that, some update, we'll have a discussion for sure. But that is it right now in this discussion. Before I conclude, I have a small message for all the UPSC civil services aspirants. Study IQ's P2I program, prelims to interview program batch 3, it's, it's beginning at different dates in November or November 17th. English batch is starting. I'll be handling quality classes from in this particular batch. There is Hindi batch, there is English batch also going on. Just visit our website www.studyiq.com. Enroll whichever program suits you. I'll see you in the class and begin your UPSC civil services journey. Thank you again. Jai Hind.